guys. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now, of course. I have had a lot of requests in the past to do a bridal makeup look, so I decided to do one specifically using drugstore products. And I'm also using all affordable brushes in this video as well. I really, really love this type of makeup and this type of look for weddings. But I mean, everybody has different tastes. Everybody wants to do different things. This is just my take on really soft, feminine bridal makeup. By the way, I will say this video is going to be a long one because it is a talk-through tutorial. I actually had to empty out my memory card like almost at the end of the video. So I know it's long. I know. So I'm sorry about that. And actually, fun fact, Danny and I didn't have a wedding. We couldn't afford one when we got married. So we didn't have like a big wedding. But if we would have had a huge like wedding or like a nice or even a small wedding, this is the makeup I would have done. Something very, very similar to this. Even though it is drugstore, I would have done something very similar. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you want to see how to get this drugstore bridal makeup, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm just going to get my hair out of my face really quick. So I'm going to start off with eyebrows and normally I would do this step before coming on camera and filming a tutorial, you guys know this. But I have decided to do it on camera for the purpose of this video. I look naked throughout this video, don't I? I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. Another really good drugstore brow pencil is the NYX one. It looks really similar to this. It's in a pencil form with a spoolie on the end. You guys know I like a bold brow, but I'm gonna try to make my brows a little bit more natural. Although I really do love that look, I think that a nice feminine brow is prettier on your wedding day. All I'm doing is following the natural shape of my brows, just shading them in a little bit darker so they look a little bit more visible, more prominent. Okay, so that got a little too bold. All right. Just fill in your brows the way you are comfortable filling them in. I am gonna set them with a brow gel or a brow mascara because this is not enough on its own. I don't think any brow product is enough on its own. You are gonna need something that's gonna keep it in place all day. Even if you don't have long eyebrow hairs, this is really gonna make the product underneath it stick a lot longer. I always like how I do my eyebrows. The day that I do them on camera, I hate them. I freaking hate them. I'm gonna start working on my face because the eye makeup I'm doing is really natural and there's not much fallout, so I'm gonna do all my face makeup first. I highly recommend a primer on your wedding day. One that is really, really good from the drugstore is the NYX Angel Veil. I find that my makeup does last longer when I use this. It's oil-free and it is really, really, really great for all skin types, but because I do have really dry skin, I'm gonna add a little bit of the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. I'm gonna mix them and I'm gonna apply it to my face like that. The foundation I'm gonna be using today is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. This is the one for normal to dry skin because the regular I cannot use, it's way too cakey. And to sheer out the formula a little bit, I am using a damp Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. These are about $7 at Ulta or anywhere they sell Real Techniques. And I'm gonna start bouncing this onto my skin. A beauty blender or a wet sponge will sheer out the coverage just a little bit and make the foundation look a little bit more natural on your skin. And that's what I recommend if you are getting married, not to use a really thick and cakey foundation because that's just not really flattering. If you need really, really full coverage, then using a beauty blender or a sponge like this will really help that. This is a full coverage foundation, but I am actually just applying a sheer, sheer layer. I'm gonna drag it down my neck. Make sure to drag your foundation down your neck, don't apply it straight to your neck, but um, just drag it down your neck so that everything matches better and it doesn't look like you have a foundation mask. I'm gonna go in with concealer and the concealer I'm gonna be using are the LA Girl Pro Conceals. You can get this on the LA Girl website, lagirlusa.com 
or drugstore.com, I believe. Yes, I'm gonna mix these two shades. I'm gonna mix natural. This is a more peachy color to counteract dark circles. And then I'm gonna use creamy beige. I really hate the packaging on this. For me, it's hard to squeeze out product. But I'm using this product today in this tutorial because I find that it has really great coverage and it lasts all day on my skin. It doesn't look bad in photography and I, um, I'm telling you, it lasts forever on the skin. gonna add a little bit on the bridge of my nose here and on my chin I'm not gonna highlight anywhere else and I don't want to pack on the concealer because this is a thicker concealer so I don't want my skin to look cakey so I'm just blending this in with a real techniques contour brush I would normally go uh, for a much lighter concealer underneath my eyes, you guys know, to brighten up under there and to look extra Kim Kardashian-y. <laughs> but, you know, for a wedding, you don't want that stark white look underneath your eyes, especially in pictures or anything like that. This combo just looks a lot more natural on me. So the next thing you want to do is set your under eye concealer because if you don't set it with a powder, it will crease. My favorite drugstore setting powder for underneath the eyes is the Maybelline Fit Me. I also love this on my entire face, but this shade specifically is for my under eye. It's 135 Creamy Natural. I'm using the Real Techniques setting brush and I'm just going to set that. Now the next step I wouldn't typically do, but for anybody with normal to oily skin, I highly recommend you setting your face with a powder. Even if you have dry skin, it might be a better idea to set your face makeup because it's just gonna make it last longer. I'm gonna use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder to set my face, but I'm gonna use a very, very light layer of this. Sometimes I find that this can um, flash back in photography and make my skin look a little bit white. By the way, this, um, the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, I think um, the original has SPF, but this one doesn't say it has SPF at all. I don't know why. The normal to dry skin one doesn't say it has SPF. But if it does or if it doesn't, it does not flash back in photography, which is why I really like it. And why I would recommend it for like wedding makeup. But anyway, I'm just going to take this Real Techniques blush brush and dab it, dab it, dab it in ever so slightly and just set my face. I never look this matte. It's crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to contour my um, cheekbones just a little bit. Personally, for me on your wedding day, I don't think that Kim Kardashian, Kardashian, that Kim Kardashian structure is very flattering. I'm going to use the e.l.f. contour palette and I'm going to use this e.l.f. mineral powder blush brush and I'm gonna dip it into this cool tone color right here. I don't know if you can tell, but that gave me just a slight contour to this side of my face, and I have a very large forehead, so I'm almost gonna contour it. So I'm just gonna Contour around the temps and bring it to the other side and contour that just a little bit and then do the same thing here. I'm gonna move on to bronzing the skin. I contoured but I still want warmth back into my skin. I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. It's probably one of my favorite drugstore bronzers because it's not a flat matte shade. So I'm gonna use a Delium Tools uh, 974 brush. It's like a tulip shaped brush. You can get these online at Delium Tools. And I am just gonna bronze the cheeks. Not contouring, just slapping this on my cheeks. Just, like I said, bronzing the skin. I'm also gonna bring this to my jawline. 
right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add blush. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, like wedding makeup kind of blush. This is the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade Baby Doll. I got this for like $2 at Ulta. It's a stunning pink. It looks like a regular pink in the pan, but it does have a sheen to it. I'm gonna use the Morphe M556 brush. This brush is about $9.99 and at $10. And I'm just gonna pop this on my cheeks. Now I do recommend going a little bit overboard. Not okay, not overboard, but adding a little bit more blush than you usually would because that is the first thing to go on your skin. So you always want to apply a little bit more than you normally would because it is gonna fade anyway. So just remember that. I'm just popping it right here to the apples, swirling it around and then bringing it back to blend everything. Okay, so because my face is really, really matte right now and I like glow, I mean, I do have a little bit of glow on my cheeks, but I like a nice glow. I'm first gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. This is not a bronzer, clearly. This is a blush, I mean, a highlight, and this is in the shade Reserve your cabana because this is the most subtle highlight ever like the most subtle highlight in my collection when it comes to the drugstore but it gives your cheeks like a glow from within so i highly recommend this for those of you who have large pores who have like textured rough textured skin because this is not going to emphasize your skin whatsoever it's going to give you a very subtle glow so if you like a bam highlight then don't go for this but it's not going to emphasize your skin which is what i really really like about this. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. No, this is not e.l.f. The Setting Brush by Real Techniques and I'm gonna lightly start highlighting. This is a stunning highlight for brides because it is so natural, especially for those of you with oily skin because it's not gonna be too much. You're not gonna look oily. You're just gonna look like you are naturally glowy. Can you see it? It's very subtle, so I'm going to take this on the bridge of my nose. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids. You want to make sure that you are priming your lids, especially on your wedding day, because you want your eye makeup to stay in place the entire day. This is the Jessie's Girl Eyeshadow Primer. So the eyeshadows I'm going to be working with um, come from two products. The Sonia Kashuk um, Ion Neutral Matte Palette and the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells Little Trio. I'm going to take this eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. This is from their $1 line and I'm going to dip it into this color right here. It's a nice pink champagne and I'm just going to apply this to my entire lid. I'm also going to take that same brush with that same eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this to my inner corners. I'm also going to take this color right here labeled Brow Bone and it's a white with a little bit of a gold sheen so I'm going to go right on top of this just to make it even brighter. I know it looks scary right here but it all ties together. Now I'm going to take this Real Techniques domed shadow brush and I'm gonna dip it into this color right here labeled Crease. It's a really pretty um, warm brown. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. Nothing too crazy. I will be putting this into the crease and even though it has shimmer, it doesn't look bad. But first, I'm just gonna start packing it right here on the outer corners just a little bit. And then I'm gonna start dragging it up into the crease. Now I'm gonna take the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Matte Palette. Taking this um, regular shadow brush, you can go ahead and use the same e.l.f. brush. This one is from Coastal Scents, it's only a few dollars. And I'm gonna take this brown right here, right in the middle. It's a nice neutral brown, not too warm, not too cool. And I'm just gonna put this on the outer corners of my eyes a little bit just to deepen them up a bit, not too much. 
Then I'm just gonna drag a little bit into my crease here. For my brow bone highlight, I don't want anything too stark, um, too shimmery, too bold. So I'm gonna just take the same highlight I used on my face, this Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. This is an Echo Tools um, eyeshadow brush, and I'm just gonna apply this to my brow bone. This is just gonna lift the brow a little bit. Okay, so at this point you can do a winged eyeliner look or whatever if you really want to. I'm not gonna do that, I wanna do something a little bit softer. So I'm gonna take the Sonia Kashuk palette and I'm gonna use this matte black shade right here and we're gonna use it as an eyeliner. And using a, an eyeshadow as an eyeliner is just gonna make it a little bit softer and not as harsh. So I'm taking that same brush I just used to highlight my brow bone and flipping it over because it's a double-ended one. And I'm gonna use this little angled one. For my lower lashes, I'm just gonna take this Equal Tools brush right here. This is called the Flat Eyeliner Brush. And I'm just gonna dip it right into this brown that we put in our crease. And put that right, really, really close to the waterline. But to add a little bit more definition, I'm gonna take the brown that we used on the outer corners of our eyes in this palette, this one right here this one in the middle, and I'm just gonna add some to the outer corners. Now typically on a day-to-day -day basis, I would just add black or brown eyeliner, but I'm gonna add a nude eyeliner. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up, nope, what, Wake Me Up, where did that come from? The Rimmel Scandalized Coca Gel Waterproof um, eyeliner in the shade nude. Applying this to my waterline because this is really gonna brighten up the eyes and make them look bigger instead of using a black which would make them look smaller. So applying a nude eyeliner is a nice little trick. So I will be applying falsies. Don't feel like you have to. If you have nice luscious long lashes, go ahead and just apply some mascara. I'm gonna um, pile on the telescopic carbon black mascara from L'Oreal before I go in with falsies. Okay, so these are the finished eyes right here. All I did was apply mascara to my bottom and top lashes, and then I went in with falsies, and the ones I used, you can see them, because, I mean, they're on my eyes, but they are from Ardell, and they are the Demi's. Okay, so for my lips, I would normally do, because it's like wedding makeup, I would do a lip liner, a lipstick, and then a lip gloss on top, because I think glossy lips are pretty, like, for a bride. But I'm gonna go ahead and just skip the lip liner today because the lip liner I wanted to use, which is East End Snob by Rimmel. I don't know where it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Milani lipstick in the shade Nude Cream. I think this is a stunning bridal lip color. I think it's so pretty. I'm just gonna apply that on my entire lips. And then to add a nice glossy like top coat, I'm gonna use the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Sugar Pie, right? Yes, Sugar Pie. It has a sheen to it, so it makes your lips look nice and juicy. Okay guys, so that completes this drugstore bridal makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I never ask for thumbs up. I always feel weird at saying that, but give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!